Hey YouTube, it's Sarah. Um, this is just going to be a really quick short video. And I don't know if you can tell, my face is just a little red. Actually, it's not near as bad as it normally is. Um, but I have not been feeling it. And I started thinking about it when I was on the elliptical. I'm coming to you post-workout, sorry. At my post-workout swagger. Um, new toy for Cody always says that. If you haven't watched her, you need to. She's wonderful. Um, anyways, uh, I was not feeling it. I haven't been feeling it since really last week. And... Um, I did work out last week. I can't remember what was my last day. I can't remember if I worked out Thursday or not. Um, we've had a festival going on in our town, so last week was kind of a crazy week, um, and I didn't work out near as much as I normally do. And then on the days that I had brought my bag and planned to work out, I talked myself out of it. So, um, I just kind of want to make this video for myself, just to, and, my, and for others too, to inspire you, because we all have those moments where we don't want to do it. And I feel so good right now. I feel so much better. And I am so glad that I came and worked out today. Um, I'd asked my best friend to go with me and she couldn't go. And then there's this, I've been taking this aerobics class on Tuesday and Thursdays. Um, and it starts later than I wanted to be here. And anyways, and I made up all these excuses and I changed my clothes in the bathroom at the gym, which I hate to do. And I dropped my sports bra on the toilet. So I had to exercise in my regular bra. Good times. Um... So, I seriously have made lots of excuses, and I thought, I cannot work out and not my sports bra, because it's just not fun to work out in a regular bra. But you know what? I did it, and I'm glad I did. Um, I was on the elliptical for about 45 minutes. I have this new um, habit, like the last couple times I've worked out, that I'll take uh, my iPad and exercise while I'm, um, I'll watch videos, everybody's video blogs or vlogs uh, while I'm working out um, and it's really nice because I find that I go a lot faster when I'm not watching my speed or paying attention and when I peek over and I see myself going at like a six or a seven or more um, and didn't even realize I was going that fast a lot of times if I get that high I only stay there for a very small amount because I realize I'm going that high and then I'll just suddenly realize that my legs are tired um, anyways I think I say that a lot. Um, I say anyways a lot. So anyways, I just wanted to inspire somebody today to work out. Um, I'm so glad that I did. And there's some, uh, that workout, that aerobics class I was talking about, they offer it in the morning from 8 to 9. And I think I'm going to come back. Uh, I have to be at work at 8, but I think I'm going to call my boss and ask if I can come a little late. Um, since I didn't do it tonight. And we lift weights and stuff in that class. So... Um, what really made me want to do the video besides inspiring everybody was I was watching some old videos from New Toy for Katie who she's one of my favorites and I always love 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 watching her videos she um, had on this shirt she was talking about being in a funk and a block and just in a stall she had on this shirt that said how bad do you want it and so that's what I'm here asking you how bad do you want it how bad do you want this weight loss because for some of you, I know you haven't had weight loss surgery, and I did, um, but I, I, when I chose this, I knew it was a tool, and I knew that um, having vertical gastric sleeve was not going to be the fix-all. Um, I've been able to lose weight a lot easier because losing weight was always a struggle for me, but it's not the fix, and if I don't work out, and if I don't eat right, if I don't make the healthy choices, if I don't put my protein first, high protein, very high protein, um, then I'm the one that ultimately suffers for it. So, how bad do you want it? Do you want it bad enough to come to the gym and work out even though you dropped your sports bra on the toilet? Yeah, I think you do. I think you do. We're on this journey together, and I, I, I hope that I've inspired you and that you want to work out. So, anyways, I'm going to weigh in the morning. Um, I'm really excited about it. The last time I weighed, I was 270. And, or point four, I think, and so I'm really excited, and I will, I'm going to make another video tomorrow if I'm in the 260s, um, because it'll be like my birthday, and I may even do a little dance. Um, when I think about being in the 260s, I realize that that means I'm just like 60 pounds away from being in Wonderland, and 60 pounds is a lot of weight, don't get me wrong, but when I think about the fact that I started at 357, 257, I mean, 199 don't seem, I mean, now being, starting at 357 and now being 
if I'm in the 260s at all, even if I'm 269. I mean, just thinking about it being 70 pounds away, 60, 70 pounds away, that's nothing in comparison to where I started. So I just feel blessed and I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope that I have made somebody smile and that I've inspired somebody to work out. Okay, have a good night. Bye.